So today we're going to do a walk around inspection, test drive, and a cold startup of this very nicely older nut and bolt restored 1930 Ford Roadster. This car is a very stock car and a very nice, excellent example of what the th stock 30 Roadster should look like. And as we go around to kind of see that the car is still in excellent condition but does have a little bit of wear, but it's been driven very sparingly, mainly as a parade car, but it's been lovingly maintained over the years. So starting over here on the driver's side fender, most of the black paint shines very nice. Uh, reflections very good with very minimal orange peel. There are a few little defects to know. We ha do have a couple light scratches here. It looks like maybe a little, maybe a small little touch up there. There are a couple scratches. Don't know how well they're going to show up. I think most of dirt. But there's another little scratch there. I think there's a, maybe a little nick here on this top of the fender. And the fenders are all steel. Actually, everything on this car is steel. There's no glass in this car. But I think there's one more little touch-up, or two little touch-ups here on the front of the fender. All the chrome on this car is in excellent condition. You do have a little bit of wear on the headlight mounts. Ford stamped headlamps, shining nice, no chrome loss to note. Same with the 30 Ford grille with the period correct radiator cap. The paint on the driver's side side vent hood, and the hood itself is in excellent condition. With the only flaws, you do have a little bit of small little bubble in the paint there and a couple little chips around the hinge and your front cowl is in excellent condition shines nice gas caps in excellent condition your stainless around is in excellent condition turn signals this car is equipped with turn signals there is a small little chip on the piping around the cowl and one right here below the windshield the turn signals are new function well as you'll see later and there is a little bit of wear kind of as you'd expect right where the hood latches pretty common yeah hard place to keep scratch free. front bumpers in excellent condition the chrome's nice and bright no loss to note Grill is in excellent condition. Again, this head, your pesticide headlamp is in excellent condition. Again, a little bit of wear around the mount. Trying to get this. Uh, again, the paint on the passenger side front fender is in excellent condition. There is a few little stone chips to know. Again, this car was restored to drive and enjoy. Pretty minimal, though. Yeah. Pretty There's minor. a few little scratches. In the passenger side fender. Those are a little longer. They are. A little paint defect in these two spots. I don't know if those will show up. Turn back and forth so they can. But again, you have the same wear around your hood latches. I mean, pretty typical, like Dad said. Your louvers are in great shape. Paint on the side of the hood's in great shape. It might be a small little chip in the front of the hood. Again, the same. I wonder if that might be a weld. <laughs> but yeah, a, little, a couple little chips around the hinges, which is pretty typical. The cowl is in excellent condition on this side as well. No little damage, no chrome around the windshield is in excellent condition. Side glass is new. Top's new and in an excellent condition. There is a chip on the top of the passenger side door. I think there's a little chipping around the hinges. Again, pretty typical. There aren't any washers or gaskets in between the layers, but your handle's in excellent condition. You see where the doors kind of close, there's a little bit of chipping where the doors rub some of the paint off. And again, it's the same at the top of the door itself. 
1930 mm. technology. Absolutely. But the interior in this car is in excellent condition. The leather's in great shape. Door cars are in excellent condition. You see it's a very stock setup in the interior. Three speed on the floor. But very minimalistic, but everything is there in excellent condition. The seat has plenty of padding. Beautiful interior. Absolutely. Great color combo, this yellow and black and with the brown leather interior. All the wood on the convertible top frames in excellent condition with no signs of dry rot or cracking. And coming over to the rear quarters in excellent condition. No real damage to note there. The rear fenders are in excellent condition with your step here for the rumble seat which this is a rumble seat car which is always pretty cool i think but and then you got your spoke wheels and there are a couple little stone chips in the paint on some of the spokes but wear is very minimal your center caps are all there they are the white wall pizza cutter tires that are right for these cars come to the back bumper Again, in very comparable condition to the front bumper. Chrome's in excellent condition. Very little wear. It looks like there is a little bit of paint loss on that mount there. Spares in excellent condition. The Ford cover, your trunk lid's in excellent condition. There is a little bit of wear, it seems. Below the trunk lid, there might be a scratch or two. Just above yeah. the trunk lid. The sun's not cooperating with me. It's right there. Right there. Looking to come to the inside. Put that chip open. It's a small chip there. Oh, we got an extra piece of cardboard in there. Actually, that's a spare side window oh, in case one of them breaks. Uh, and then you also have the crank if you ever decide you want to try that. So yeah, rumble seats in excellent condition, plenty of padding, finished in the same color as the interior of the car, and it is finished on the sides. Looks like there's a little bit of warpage in the panels. A little bit of wear, of course, at the side of the trunk lid where it rubs against the body. You have a little bit around your turn signal and tail light mounts. Come to your driver's side rear fender, Excellent condition again. There is a little bit of chipping. It's going to be pretty hard. All these defects are very minimal. Or some this morning, it's hard to yeah. get them to show up. They are pretty minor. I mean, you got some paint loss in some of the chips, but yeah. where the body panels kind of meet. It doesn't take away from how nice this Model A presents. Again, driver's side interior is very comparable to the passenger side. Door panel is in excellent condition. Your pedals have very little wear to them. The steering wheel has a cover on it. See all your pedals are there. Again, very stock setup. Nicely detailed flathead four cylinder. There's still a six volt generator with a positive ground. But it's still a very show worthy engine. Look at the department. other side. Close this side up. Show you the exhaust sign. Very nicely detailed. Absolutely. Paint right there. Now we'll go ahead and 
starter up. Show you the lights working. So starting these cars are a little bit different than your conventional car. You gotta kinda do everything for it. Make sure your fuel's on, turn your key on, pull your choke, your starter's on the floor, make sure your timing's advanced. I don't think you needed to choke as warm as it is today. <laughs> this little four cylinder does just run like a sewing machine once Tyler gets the timing and the throttle down right. Yeah. <laughs> signals you gonna blow that horn once for him <laughs> Love those horns. I'll show you the brake lights and tail lights so you got brake lights Give it a try. We're going to take this beautiful 1930 Ford Model A Roadster Rumble Seat car for a test drive. So this will actually be Tyler's first time driving a Model A. Driving a Model A. And, you know, there is a little bit of finesse driving these old Model A and Model T's. But you do have to adjust the timing, the throttle. Yeah, everything's <laughs> manual. It's a non-synchronized transmission. So when you're shifting, you have to do a double clutch. So push the clutch in, shift the vehicle in neutral, let the clutch out, push the clutch again, and then shift it into that next gear. So uh, you're not going to win a 0 to 60 drag race against a synchronized gearbox. <laughs> nope. So we got to give ourselves plenty of time. These are a nice parade car cruising downtown. That side cabin car. Yeah. And this car, it, this, it is an older restoration that built, still presents very nicely. I mean, it'd be great at any local cruise in, uh, parade. It'd be a great parade car with the rumble seat and being a roadster with that top down. Somebody important in that rumble seat. Yeah, it'd be a great car. It's a great color combination. I think it might be able to leave sometime soon. So, but this car does, it, it actually starts very well, very easily. It runs very well. Um, thumbs up. Yeah. And, yeah, you know, but it drives, it drives like an antique car. Pizza cutter tires. Tyler's first time in second gear. Away we go. Away we go. Just like that. So the clutch on the car feels very good. Transmission does not pop out of gear. Seven miles per hour. 
Yeah, yeah brakes do pull a little bit. Uh, the tires do wander a little bit. But, and it takes a little bit to get used to. So we are in the raw here and we're uh, showing you. <laughs> Um, you know, we're not sugarcoating anything, but the car does run very well. Uh, the charging gauge works, your speedometer works. I watched the odometer, I haven't checked that. The gas gauge does not work. So, but all the lights do work, and it does have added uh, turn signals, which is a very nice feature on these antique cars so yeah so you got your throttle on the right side <laughs> right side of your yeah and then you got your timing advance on the left side but yeah just a really nice it's better than a driver quality it's, a, oh, it's yeah. you know it's got some paint a couple of minor paint chips here and there but you know the interior is in, in excellent shape. The seat, the top's in excellent shape. Yeah, well, I'm very proud that they take us to a cruise in our car show. It, oh yeah, yeah it presents very well. Yeah. yeah, just a cute little car. It is. So it is a rock solid example of a Model A Roadster Rumble seat. Just yeah. takes some finesse. You gotta listen to the car. <laughs> yeah, you gotta like learn the car a little bit. Yeah. So and you know I've driven it quite a bit more than Tyler has, so it's like yeah. Let's put the one that has never driven one, just to show you that even for the first time, you can drive them. You can learn how to drive them. It takes a little bit to get to, to know how to drive them extremely well, but it is possible. And it doesn't take that long. You just have to be patient. So if you're in the market for a Model A, Especially a roaster with a rumble seat. Definitely check this out. <laughs> yeah, forgive Tyler. Yeah. Check it out. Rock Salad Motorsports.